Oh hi, thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another Barbie episode. So Barbie is not in the uh, greatest of moods, although according to her mood buff she's pretty happy, but she is sulking. She's been sulking ever since she woke up at 3am. She's not very happy because it's work experience week. I don't know if any of you Americans had this, but in the UK, when you were in secondary school, there was one week throughout the year where you had to go and do work experience. Get a taste of working in the real world. I, for example, spent my work experience as an estate agent, where my main job was distracting customers from looking at the ridiculously high commission fees on the computer screen. And Barbie's no different. So for the next couple of days, she's going to be doing her work experience at a diner. Uncle Al's come to visit, here he is. Oh, he's already doing his job even, even while he's staying over. Uncle Al owns a diner in, I can't remember what world, I think Willow Creek or Newcrest. Yeah, Uncle Al owns a diner in Newcrest and he's given Barbie the opportunity to try and learn a little bit about what hard work looks like. I broke the news to Barbie about it this morning and she's been pretty pissed off ever since. I don't think she ever thought she would find a day where she'd say she'd rather be at school, but there we go. It's getting on for 7am. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what sort of time would be a good time to open the diner. Maybe like 8 or something? But of course, we can't go to work in a bikini, so we better go into our dressing room, pop into the closet and find something to wear. Something appropriate. And hopefully something pink. I'm using the Dine Out Reloaded mod by New Carl. Scandal. Just so we can get a little bit more of a full experience. I mean, Barbie's not going to be working as a chef, she's going to be working as a server, but, you know, if we give her an apron, then she kind of looks the part, doesn't she? I think this is probably, probably the best it's going to get. I think we'll go for this. Barbie's still going to wear her heels to work. Maybe some pink ones to match the apron. Yeah. I want to see if there's like a fast food hat. I have a feeling there isn't. I know there is if you use like an unlock cheat, but I forgot to do that, so might just have to make do with what we have. Maybe something like this. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Perfect. Okay, I think, I think we're ready. Come on, Barbie, let's go. All right, so Barbie and Uncle Al, time to go for our work experience. Come on, grumpy bollocks. It won't be that bad. Just such an attitude problem, that girl. Okay, no. ready for our first day. So, Al, we have opened the restaurant. Al's gonna work in the back. He's going to work as chef. Barbie's just chilling, listening to the jukebox. I have set it so that customers will just seat themselves. So hopefully all Barbie has to do is just take orders and deliver food. Nice, easy job. Genuinely can't see how you could possibly fuck that one up, Barbie, okay? Okay, we'll welcome this table and we'll take their order. And we've got a table over here. Okay, this place is filling up quite quickly. Oh, she's, she's starting to get more of a positive attitude. Look, she's smiling at the customers. We'll take this customer's order. We'll probably leave out the welcome. I don't think Barbie would be the type to be like, oh, hi, welcome. She'd probably just go up to Sims and, and just ask, what do you want? Okay, anyone here not had their order taken? Oh, this table over here could do with having their order taken. I'm hoping these sims just don't get up and wander around. No, Sit the fuck down, no, Michaela. Okay, do we have any meals already? No, no. Uncle Al's still cooking. Okay, fine. Hard to keep track of these fuckers because they just keep up and... They keep getting up and wandering around. Oh, we have an order. Okay, Barbie, come on. Let's go serve the food. As soon as you finish dancing to the jukebox, I understand. Obviously, we have to have our priorities. I like how she's walking through the bathroom to take a selfie. There's a wall between you and the food. So I'm intrigued as to how you're going to pull that one off. Here we go. Take the tray. This is real basic stuff, Barbie. Take the tray. That's two now. Is that Christy's mum? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, take order. It looks like Christy's mum's starting an affair. Good for you, Christy's mum. Can I get you guys a tiramisu or maybe a donut to share? All right, let's take this, take the order of these guys over here. Just all of her free time, Barbie is spending dancing by the jukebox. There we go. Okay, I think we might actually be properly delivering our first order now. This is the first time. It's only 11 a.m. We've only been open for four hours. So I think it's very impressive that you're serving your first meal after only four, not even a meal, just water. Just 
Four hours to serve a glass of water. Well done, Barbie. You've really outdone yourself in your work experience. Girl, you must be exhausted. Do you want to take a break? Why is there an old man walking around with a sex cane? He literally has like a woohoo cane. Oh, guys. This is a family diner. This is actually kind of stressful. I'm starting to lose track on who I have served and who I haven't. Okay, take order, Barbie. Stop listening to the jukebox. Take some orders. This is work experience. Oh, there's some food that needs to be delivered. Okay, go and serve the food. Okay, this is going pretty well. Except for the fact that she keeps walking to the other side of the wall to pick up the food. That's two orders now that need to be delivered. So we'll serve that one once we finish serving this one. Okay, do we actually have some meals this time? Or no, just glasses of water. Oh shit, maybe it's because I forgot to set up the menu. Oh. Okay, I'm going to close. Close up shop. We've made no money. And now we're going to set the menu. How could I have forgotten to set the fucking menu? Okay, here we go. This is why everyone keeps ordering glasses of water. So now we'll do cups of tea. Tea and coffee and a few smoothies. What kind of food do you get at a diner? I mean, you usually get grilled cheese. Um, eggs and toast, that seems like a diner meal. Burgers, hot dogs. Okay, that seems like a good diner meal. Okay, perfect. Let's try that again. Okay, all the customers are leaving, but that's a good thing. That's a good thing. We should get some new customers now. Customers that might order more than a free glass of water. Oh, you go for it, Barbie. Part of me feels like Barbie's just trying to use this as an opportunity to maybe get discovered by someone. But, you know, I don't think you're going to find a big hotshot producer in a, in a diner in Newcrest, Barbie. But, you know, I, I admire your ambition. Okay, take this bitch's order. Don't worry about greeting anyone. Don't worry about being polite. That's not really our thing. Uh, take order from the celebrity Judith Ward. Probably we will greet Judith Ward because she might be able to do things for us. Guys, can you not be showing PDA in the middle of this diner? People are here to eat food, not throw it up. Take order. Just shove the kid out of the way. You'll be fine. There is some kind of uh, action plan going on, I'm sure, because these sims keep on caressing each other <laughs> in the middle of our diner. Well, it's our uncle's diner, which basically means it's our diner. Oh, there's a delivery, Barbie. Let's go and serve that food. Come on. Chop, chop. Barbie, serve the food. Serve the fucking food. Okay, whose order is this? Is this Judith's? Okay, good. Yeah, we prioritized the star. Oh, we have cheerleading soon. I think we'll probably call in sick. We'll give cheerleading a mess. What did you guys go for? Scrambled egg and bacon? Uh-huh. And what about you, Judith? Haddock sandwich? Of course. Of course it would be a haddock sandwich. Barbie, serve this dish. I swear to God. This is not the time for a protest. I think she can't get to that dish. So whoever's meal that is, they're just going to have to go hungry today. There you go, guys. Chow down and fuck off. Oh, these must be the Sims whose food is in here. Oh, yeah, you guys are going to have to walk away. You're not, you're not going to get served. I can't reach the plate. I'm sorry. Bye-bye. Can I not just ask them to leave? Kick them out? Where are you going? I think we'll probably serve whatever Uncle Al is cooking there, and then I think we'll call it a day here. We've worked so many hours, 9 till 4.30. God, what a day, what a day, what a day. We have to clean up these plates like some kind of server. Okay, I think we've worked hard enough. We're going to close up shop now. We're going to close. One and a half stars. <laughs> but hey, we made a profit. We made 50 simoleons, so there we go. All right, Barbie, you did a real hard day's work today. I think we should go home, get changed, and see if the girls want to go for a drink. I think we deserve a reward. We deserve some fun, you know? after that incredible labor we performed today. So I'm thinking uh, we're going to party hard tonight. We're going to go clubbing. But for now, let's order a delivery. We'll get ourselves a pizza or something. Uh, sweet corn, why not? Been a while since I had a sweet corn pizza. We'll get a sweet corn pizza. We'll have a nice bubble bath and then we'll get ready to meet the girls. Oh, we're staring at the gate expecting someone to come through, but instead they just popped up out of nowhere. Ran straight past me waiting patiently for my pizza. Okay, Barbie, take the pizza, grab yourself a slice. Thanks very much. Okay, take a slice. Oh, this was a nice choice, sitting outside, Barbie, sitting by the pool. Oh, there's our glamorous mum, Marge, worrying about nothing other than just being fabulous. You enjoy that, Barbie? Okay, let's go and have a rose petal bath. Also, I just realised, seeing as we made up with Ken, we can hang our lovey-dovey photos up again now. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, you enjoy your rose petal bath, Barbie. 
Thinking maybe like nine-ish, we'll meet the girls at the club. There's this new hot spot just opened in town, so we should probably go check it out. If we want to be the most popular kid in school, we need to start becoming more well-known for being at the most up-and-coming places in town. Oh, feeling flirty, huh? Maybe you should put some clothes on, though, Babs. You're straight back into your work clothes. Okay, I think we could probably do a little bit better than that. Maybe we'll change into something a little bit more club acceptable. Oh, how about this you jumpsuit? Perfect. Okay, we're club ready. Let's go. We'll call the girls. Christy, Midge, Teresa. Let's go. Okay, so this is the new hotspot. It's called the Happy Gnome Nightclub. It's available on the gallery. So let's check it out. Okay. The main reason why I chose a nightclub was because I wanted to get them to practice their dance moves. Look how colourful this place is. We love a colourful bar. Right, first things first. I don't know if anyone is serving. Maybe there's a bar that someone is working at, perhaps? Okay, there we go, barkeep. We will order drinks for the group. What the fuck? Why is everything twice the price? Alright, let's just properly splash the cash then. See a fire. We've got our parents' credit card. She's doing it from outside. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to spend their money because we were a bit pissed off that we even had to do work experience. We were kind of hoping that our parents would write an excuse note for us. So, you know, this is um, payback. So, yeah, we will. We will take the fanciest drink in the bar. Thanks very much. This round's on me, girls. Let me just make sure we don't have any activities. Let me add dancing. Because we do like to dance. And I want as many points as I can get with this group. Club, even, I should say. I may as well add bar drinks as well. Seeing as we seem to do that every time we hang out. So let's all get, get our drinks. Oh, these look fancy. Fucking candy bears there as well, showing off. Can I still do a group number, even with a gnome in the middle of a dance floor? Group dance. Boogie down woogie. Come on, sluts, let's go. We're going to show this crowd who the hottest dancers in town are. Oh, she's trying to shoo everyone off the dance floor so we can do our group number. Why are you sulking? What's wrong? You need the bathroom. We'll go when we finish showing off. Oh, we can't do our group dance. People aren't moving out the way. Everyone keeps going to the dance floor. Is that Ken walking around shirtless? Yes, it is. Ken, I think you forgot to wear your out-of-the-house clothes. Don't worry, I'll help you. There we go, much better. You look great, Ken, you look great. All right, let's take a quick look at your needs. It's just a shit you need to take, isn't it? Yeah, okay, fine. We'll go to the bathroom, and then we'll come back to the dance floor. Go on then, use the toilet. Oh shit, it's already half midnight. How time flies. I quite like this club, this is pretty happening, pretty cool. What a unique idea. Quite like the outside as well. It looks a bit like a gnome cinema. That's right, don't forget to wash your hands. Okay. Well, I feel like tonight just kind of flew by. It's already gone 1 a.m. And we've got work tomorrow, Barbie. Whether you like it or not, so I think we better head home. Girls, girls club is going to have to end their gathering. We want to be refreshed and ready to serve those customers tomorrow. I went into Build and Buy in my, uh, my diner and I moved my chef station. So hopefully we shouldn't run into the same problem and we should be able to deliver all meals. So maybe we might be able to increase our star rating to like three or maybe even four stars tomorrow. Otherwise poor Uncle Al is going to end up bankrupt and he'll just be staying at our place forever. All right, Barbie, go and get some rest. I'll see you fresh in the morning. Okay, Barbie, just hold it together. This is your last shift that you'll ever have to do at the diner. Are we ready? I think so. Okay, we're open for business once again. Al, you know the drill. Cook orders as the chef. Okay, so I'm pretty sure with the, with the cooking station being here, it should be fairly easy for Barbie to pick up the dishes and serve the customers. Where are you going? Barbie, we need you front and center, okay? You need to be here greeting the customers, welcome the, welcoming them in to this family-ran diner where all meals are served with a side of attitude. Well, Barbie, why don't you just sit down and look fabulous while we wait for some customers? Oh, I think I see some customers coming in right now. Okay, take order. Go for it, Barbs, take their order. Don't worry about welcoming them, that's not so really our style. Oh, we've got some more Sims. Oh, here's a fun fact. This Sim right here, Evie Hart, she is one of the very first Sims I ever created in The Sims 4. This is an old, old save Ooh. file I'm playing with right now. Clearly the oldest save file I have. Evie, you're a special guest. Let me take your order right now. Okay, we have quite a few customers coming here now. The thing is, they just keep getting up and moving around so often that it's impossible to tell 
whose table I've served, like who's waiting for their food, and who's already ordered. You know what? I'm gonna go and disable all of my neighborhood action plans. There we go. I don't want people trying to steal my shit, or trying to help themselves to things, or trying to make out with each other in the middle of the restaurant. You guys need to learn some fucking respect, okay? Take order. Anyone else need their order taken? Okay, that guy's had his order taken. What about this family over here? You guys ordered? No, we'll take their order. Has everyone been served? Okay, I'm pretty sure everyone at this point has placed their order, and we have several orders to deliver. So, Barbie, get your skates on, girl. Let's go. It's only a stool. You can walk past it. Okay, we got this. Can we reach that plate over there? Yes, okay, okay. Obstacle averted. This place is no longer a logistical nightmare. There you go, guys. Enjoy your slop. Eat it and fuck off. Yeah, this place is going to go from one and a half stars to three stars in no time. Good for you, Barbie, helping out the family business. Oh, it's so nice to just have a bit more control when running a restaurant, you know? Highly recommend Carl's Dine Out mod to anyone. Okay, you guys are still waiting for your food. Have you ordered your food? Yes, okay, okay. And we've taken your order as well, guys. Yeah, okay, great. So there should be no one here that has not placed an order. Okay, great, great. And I see there's a dish right there. Oh, we are just, we're doing so well compared to yesterday. Yesterday was such a shit show. We just need one more meal and then everyone will have been fed. There you go, fuck face. And feel free to leave a 40% tip. And there is one meal left. Okay, my chef has nothing else to cook unless we have some new customers, which we looks like are about to get some new customers. I better clean up this table once we finish serving these customers. Just, all right, guys, I see you're getting impatient. Just let's not get our bollocks in a twist, all right? We've been working hard preparing that food. Oh, ungrateful swines. Oh, look, it's our elderly, uh, our elderly little kinksters walking around with their little cane. Oh, it's always nice to see a regular. Take this guy's order. Everyone happy? Everyone satisfied? Okay. You guys have eaten. You guys have eaten. So now I'll just wait for you guys to pay your bills and fuck off. <gasps> yes! Rating increased to two out of five stars. Why are these guys not happy about the wait time? They've been fed, haven't they? Yeah, you guys have got your orders. Don't come cheeky to me. Yeah, I'm thinking we might actually end the day on three stars, which I know isn't great, but it's better than one and a half stars, and it changes from red to yellow at least. So come on, Babs, let's go take some orders. Who knows, we might even be able to convince Uncle Al to actually pay us for all this, and then we could go shopping. Serve these fucks. Have these guys been served? I don't know. No? Oh, take your order from those. I think we've got basically an entire batch of new customers. Oh, I think I'm seeing a meal over there ready to be served. And I'm pretty sure every table now has placed their order. Oh, there's another sim from our, our gangbang group. Okay, yeah. Everyone's order's been taken and now we're delivering the goods. Oh, didn't realise I left such a mess there. Apologies, I'll just stick that in the sink. What a contrast from yesterday to today. Another dish there ready to be served. Barbie, stop sulking, come on. Your work day will end soon anyway. We finish at four, that's plenty of time to increase our star rating. Also, do we or do we not want Uncle Al to move out? Okay, who doesn't have food? This table doesn't have food. Did we take their order? Yeah, we did. Oh, that must be their food over there. Come on, Barbie, let's go serve their food because they're not happy about these wait times. Okay, I think we should apologize to these two for the wait because they've been waiting a while and their food still isn't even ready. Oh, that must be their food there. Quickly, Barbie, go get it. We want to try and increase our rating, so we'll be nice, even though it's hard, just grit through your teeth and just smile, okay? Even though you want to throw their food in their fucking face. There we go, enjoy your food. Oh, they don't like the look of it. Okay, well, Barbie, it looks like we don't really have anything to do. Oh, I suppose we could clean this table up, except just wait for these customers to leave, I guess. Three stars, we're out of the red into the yellow. Okay, disallow new customers. We'll just wait until everyone goes home, and we'll just do a little bit of cleaning. Oh, someone left a bit of their burger. And I have the option to eat it. <laughs> well, I'd say this has been a really successful day, Barbie, and I think you've proven everyone wrong. I think you have proven that you can handle a hard day's work. This has been exhausting, though. We definitely deserve a shopping spree after all this. I mean, hang on a minute. She is a bit hungry. 
They are leftovers. You could just eat <laughs> eat the rest of that chicken slider. <laughs> eat those leftovers. There we go. Hunger's gone into green. One Sims trash is another Sims treasure, eh, Barbie? All right, let's close up shop. I think we've had a really successful day today. We made 370 simoleons and we've had some great reviews. Well, I think that's about as much work experience as we can be asked to deal with. What are you doing? There's no one there. But we're definitely making good progress in preparing ourselves to go from high school student ready for adulthood. And this week is pretty much dedicated to that. We spent our first two days doing work experience. And in the next episode, we actually have the opportunity to go and do a placement at the local college. We're going to spend a couple of days in a sorority house, which obviously Barbie, if she goes to college, will be in a sorority house. Party like the college kids do, study like the college kids do. It's going to be great fun for everyone involved. But on that note, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.